And the next fighter making his way to the cage at Battle Arena 61. We've got Callum Clark fighting out of Foo Dog MMA with a record of 1-0. A win by Rear Naked Choke. Callum Clark makes his way down to the preparation area, just get the stat Vaseline applied. And he'll go through his final checks. Said it many times today, but this is another really intriguing matchup here. Featherweight division, Callum Clark against Jermaine Lewin, Team Renegade. Jermaine Lewin has clearly brought his van base with him as well. A big roar when the MC Chris Fensum read out the name. Yeah, the guys at Renegade think really highly of Jermaine Lewin. We can hear horns behind us. <laughs> the crowd are going wild. It's a great atmosphere, Johnny. It's great to see this sort of atmosphere. It's fantastic to be here at a live mixed martial arts event and Big shout out and big credit to the uh, to the Battle Arena team because they've put on one hell of a show so far. And I know I might sound like a broken record, John, but again, the matchmaking has just been phenomenal. There's not been any sort of one-sided fights where one fighter has looked head and shoulders above the other. It's They've, they've been well hard-fought scraps and that's exactly what you want to see. Yeah, not a few, bad few guys in the corner here of uh, Jermaine Lewin. You've got Leon, Rocky Edwards, Ash Begg, brilliant striking coach. Dave Lavelle as well, brilliant striking coach. I think we've got one. One too, many, uh, one too many corner people here for uh, Jermaine Lewin, so we've got an extra commentator on the desk with us now. I'm going to leave you in charge of ensuring that he doesn't give out any instructions to the fighter. <laughs> yeah. As I mentioned, Leon Edwards in the corner of uh, Jermaine Lewin. Jermaine looks huge for this weight. Did it's a phenomenal this was, shape. Did you say this was featherweight? <laughs> featherweight going on light heavyweight, I think I said. The fighters have been introduced, we've got Callum Clark, just to confuse us, we've got Callum Clark in the red corner, but with the blue shorts on. We've got Jermaine Lewin in the blue corner, with the red shorts on. <laughs> the fighters touch them up, we're off. 
It's mainly really it's huge. He's a massive featherweight. A lot of feints so far from both of these guys. Yeah. You can see Lewin's just trying to get his reads in early in this fight. Really quick. Both of these guys, you can see they're striking straight away. And that might be why they're being a bit calculated to start with, just to see how fast their opponent actually is. Get the timing down. Nice uh, kick to the outside of the left knee of Jermaine Lewin there by Callum Clark. Yeah, and Clark closes the distance, pushes Lewin up against the cage. Doesn't really look like he's hunting for a takedown yet, but Lewin reverses position nicely, and then Clark reverses that position. We could go on all day with this. <laughs> they, they keep swapping position, guys. And that's a Beautiful great takedown, takedown from Lewin. Straight into side control. Looking to uh, uh, recover the guard nicely there from Callum Clark. Now let's see what sort of guard Callum Clark's got. Looks like he's trying to rise his legs. Oh, it's a big hammer fist there. Yeah, he's got to be careful here, Clark. He's got to start defending the referees, taking a good look. These are some huge lunchbox-like right hands that are landing for Jermaine Lewin on the ground. And Lewin could even take his bat now, throwing that right leg over the back of Clark, getting hooks in. But he seems to be opting for the ground and pound. The referee's taking a close look. I like what he's doing here, Lewin. He's, he's reaching through that left hand to control the right hand, the defensive hand of Callum Clark. And so that he can then throw his big right hand. Some heavy shots landing here. The referee saying, I need to see something from you to yeah. Callum Clark. It was good work from Clark to eventually get back up to his feet. He's just got to now fight the hands. Get out of this position, exit back out to the centre. Nice work there because Callum Clark looked like he tried to, uh, to wrap up a neck, but... Jermaine Lewin just arches the back and stands up right to get out of that position. Both guys exchange knees. Oh, Big left hand land up against the fence. I think the referee huge left hand. Referee it's steps over. in. Fantastic performance from Jermaine Lewin. He comes over right in front of us here. Big smile on his face. Jermaine Lewin is a powerhouse at featherweight. There's a reason why these guys had high hopes. For Jermaine Lewin, absolutely phenomenal performance. I think this is a name we're going to be hearing across the UK scene for quite a while, John. Yeah, definitely. I mean, a physical specimen. And you could see every time he landed those ground shots, Callum Clark was grimacing and just huge ground and pound. Forces the referee to stop the fight, but... Yeah, phenomenal performance from Jermaine Lewin. We'll pass her over to our MC to make things official with Chris Fenton. Once again, congratulations to Jermaine Lewin. Remember the name. It's a name that you're going to be hearing across the UK NNA scene for quite a while, I suspect. Yeah, beautiful little dance there. Did he, uh, did he get that from the movie Elf? I think he got it from <laughs> me, John. I mean, he's under uh, uh, Tom Brees, one of the best grapplers in this country. And then in his corner, I don't know if you noticed, Steve, but he had Leon Edwards. I think he's not one of them top two or three ranked uh, fighters on the planet at this time. 
And when you've got that kind of advice in your corner, you have that kind of quality of coaches. And his coaches, they don't just rely on their own experience of, you know, MMA 10 years ago and it's moved on so much. They are traveling the world, getting the greatest layers technique and passing it on to this level of amateur fighters. You definitely saw that with Jermaine. He got the body lock early. He was able to control against the cage, get the takedown, have his opponent, Callum, turning completely away. And that was where he was able to get that example. So now we're going to have to go for that interview with Jermaine right now with our Mayhem girls. We'll go to that interview now. <laughs> Got Team Renegade Jiu Jitsu MMA here. Who has just won on a TKO? How does it feel? How was the win? Feel great. I, I never had time to warm up. I went to get a coffee. My coach is phoning me, you're on at half past seven. So that's a run back. I never had time to warm up properly, but it went well. So it was a good, it was a good fight. Yeah, it, was it, good fight. it was a good fight. It definitely went well. It was, it was a tough guy, man. It was a tough, yeah. Yeah, it was tough. Yeah. Tough but did you, were you worried at any points? Um, no, not really. No? It's fighting. What no. can happen? <laughs> but you didn't have your coffee. My coffee is still in, still in the dressing room. Probably cold by now. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can have ourselves a nice iced coffee there. So, you won, take it, you won by take it all by striking on the ground. Was that the way you always saw it going? No, not really. No, no one wants to bring a fight to the ground and TK. You want to stand up and throw the guy? I feel yeah. I want to throw one punch. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I want to throw one punch. I didn't, get, I didn't get to work my jab because he didn't, give, he didn't give me that chance to work my jab. Obviously, my coach always tell me, if you see something, take it. So I see it. Obviously, I know he's not going to struggle me. So when I, when I first felt him, I know he's not struggling to me. I felt, I know that. So that's why I took him down and that's it, TKO. You come down all the way in Birmingham town. So that was a really good fight, you know. But you'd rather it went a few more rounds so you could, like, yeah. it, just, it, you know, do your oh, techniques there. Yeah, I was hoping to go for like the, the round two. Then I can work my jab and feel him. But obviously, he, he's trying to put my back foot. Then he's he trying to take me down. So when I felt him, I'm thinking he's not struggling to me. I got him here, so that's what I got with the, the double armor yeah, yeah. and taking down. So. And yeah. obviously, one coach you've got, so uh, big shout out to your coach. <laughs> Great coach, man. Leon Edwards, hey, hey, Ash hey. Beggs. Perfect. Hey. So, but thank you so much for joining us. Okay. Well done on your win, and back to you. Thank you.